Howdy. I'm Bob Terry, and thanks for joining us here on Westerns on the Web for another great Western adventure. And here comes Cisco and Poncho, our amigos for a long, long time now. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Down upon the swampy rivers, far, far away. There's where my heart did turn to livers. There's where the old folks live. All the world is sad with dreary sorrow. Where I'm going, oh, how my heart is growing weary. Down where my senorita live. <laughs> Mister, Cisco, it's me, Pancho. <laughs> Don't you realize me? There is something vaguely familiar about you, but my, how you have changed. Oh, Diablo. Diablo wouldn't win he, if Loco wasn't around here somewhere. I look, but I don't see him some places. Get off. Finding you is like finding a lost long brother-in-law. <laughs> Look, Cisco, he realizes me, even in my strips. Yes, Pancho, <laughs> Loco has more sense than you have. <laughs> hey, this is my clothes, I think. But well, they look like them. Put up your hands, both of you. So, my closet wasn't good enough for you, so you dressed up like a senorita, eh? She is a senorita, Pancho, and a very pretty one. Never mind the flattery, mister. 
What are you doing in this barn? I might ask you, what is that horse doing in this barn? Yeah, in my shirts and my pants. You'd better get away, Bob, while I keep him covered. Good idea, sis. Say, why are you stealing my shirts and my pants? I had to. I'm sorry about that. You're sorry? <laughs> How do you think I feel? You'll hear from me, sis, from somewhere. Be careful, Bob. Your gun's in that last stall. The gun is very unbecoming to a lady. Now, while Pancho changes clothes in that stall, let's just step over there and you tell me what it's all about, eh? I will hurry like anything. All right, miss. Why should I tell you anything? First, to delay me long enough so your brother can get a good head start on us. Second, the Cisco Kid is a pretty good judge of human nature. I think your brother needs help. Did you say Cisco Kid? That's what I'm called. I've heard about you. You've helped a lot of people. I will tell you about Bob. I'll tell you everything. Cisco, this I don't understand. A jailbird, he, he take my clothes, my gun, my hat, and even local. Then we risk our necks to catch him. But the boy needs help, Pancho. Ah, a pretty girl should make Google White at you, and you promise me the moon. Her brother is in trouble, real trouble. That's why we are going out to that mine. Come on. Jail rather sudden, aren't you, Drake? Am I? Well, I don't think you're on parole, and I know they don't pardon killers. So I guess you escaped. You're a good guesser, Cat. Well, maybe you can tell me why. There's no telling what's in the mind of a killer. Well, I'll tell you. I came back to get a confession that it was you and not me that killed Sam Walter. A confession, eh? Why, certainly, Drake. I'll be glad to accommodate you. Remember him, gentlemen? Sure. Well, what do you know? shoot me in the back like you did Sam Waller. You heard what the man said. Accommodate him. But do it outside. Keep your eye on the big fellow in there. I will keep my eye on him like a peeping tomcat. Places you ain't going no places. All right, Dr. 
Drake? Yeah. I don't get it. I steal Pancho's pants, and you turn around and save my life. <laughs> you know why? That's because you got a pretty sister. You've got a good sister, Drake. She told me all about your troubles. I think we can help you. Thanks. How clever can you be letting those fellas jump you and get away with Drake? The least you could have done was pitched in and given us a hand. All right, all right, forget it. There are more ways than one to skin a polecat. Knowing Drake the way I do, if he knows that his sister's here, it wouldn't be long before he'd show up. So all we have to do is deliver an invite. Nice and easy like. You catch on quick. Only this time we'll be ready for him. And the others too, if they want to come along. So go ahead, deliver the invitation. Who's that? Sheriff. Keep your hands away from your guns. You're gonna regret this. Interfering with a peace officer is serious business, especially aiding a felon to escape. You've got me all wrong, Sheriff. I'm not interfering. I'm trying to help. Help who? Him or me? Both of you. I will deliver young Drake to you, provided. Provided what? You give me 48 hours to prove he was framed and deliver to you the real murderer. I don't make deals at the point of a gun. You're dead right, Sheriff. My apologies. Now we can talk in even terms. <laughs> Boys, we're heading back. Or we're gonna miss our lunch. Get you out of this mess yet, Bob. I had quite a talk with the sheriff. Yeah, what'd he say? Well, we made a little deal. He gave me 48 hours to prove that you were framed and to bring in the real murderer. But Cisco, you can't do those. However, I'm to turn it in to him for safekeeping until I can... Oh, no, you don't. I've had a taste of that jail and I'm not going back. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Let him go, Pancho. Now look, you stubborn mule. I promised your sister I'd help you. And I promised the sheriff to turn it in to him. So that's that. I don't care what you promised anybody. I'm not going back to that jail. Look, Bob, you're only going to spend a few days in jail. Come on, let's get going. Crossing me, Cisco. I still say it's for your own good, Bob. I know what I'm doing. See, why do you want to act so stubborn like a burro? You know, pretty soon Punch is going to have to slap you on both sides of your faces. And we don't like to do that to our friends. Friends, my eye. I'm sorry you feel this way about it, Bob. But in you go. 
I've been expecting you. Would have been here sooner, Sheriff. But Bob was a little hard to convince. Then it'll be even harder to keep me here. Let you and me not have any trouble. Remember, Sheriff, Bob stays here. No sending him back to the penitentiary until I get a chance to work this out. That's our understanding. Provided... Provided what? You get to work and stop gabbing. Be seeing you. Sheriff, you better look out. This little fellow here will steal the pants right off your back. <laughs> you go this way. You know, there's something I don't understand something about. What's that, Pancho? How you can do the brother some good by doing yourself some good with his sister. I want to tell her about Bob so she wouldn't worry. Oh, that's different, I think. go away and leave the door open. Something must have happened to her. Let's see inside. Oh, boss, we delivered your invitation. Our guest has come to the party. Well, how nice. A special party and all in your honor. By what right do you drag me out of my house and bring me out here? Lefty. Get the lady pencil and paper. Sit right down there, Mr. Drake. Now, you're gonna write to your brother and tell him you're here. Then maybe he'll join the party, too. Yeah, we'd like that. I haven't seen my brother. I wish I had. He'd kill you for this. Are you gonna write that note or not? I am not. Lefty, there's a nice, quiet room downstairs where perhaps our guests can think things over. Hey, Cisco, she must have been in a terrible big hurry to get away, yeah? Someone took her away against her will, Pancho. And I think that someone is Mr. Cantwell. That's why we're going to go out to his mine and find out. Cisco, what, what do you want to do this for? You are always jumping out of the fire into the frying pan. Just as I thought. Cantwell has the place well guarded. If we try to get in there, it would be like the mouses in the traps. But we're not going to do it that way. But I you see quiet. Him up, Pancho. See. Wrap him up, too. <laughs> Into this kind of work I love. It's duck soups. 
Open that trap door again, Cantwell. How did you get in here? So easy it would break your heart. Open it up, then get Miss Drake out of there. Didn't you hear me, Cantwell? Well, I guess you've got me, Cisco. Shall I tie him up too? Yes, Pancho. Nogales style. Nogales style? We well, soon are going to run out of tie-ups. Oh, Cisco, I didn't think anyone would ever find me. Well, Miss Drake, a man would have to be crazy not to find you. <laughs> well, what about Bob? He's in good hands. Oh. Hey, Sheriff. Yeah? Something's wrong with my jaw. Will you come take a look? Sure. dirty trick on me, and when I get my hands on him, I'm certainly going to get my gun over there on the desk, will you? Hurry up. Thanks. Now my hat. Cantwell, I'm going to give you one last chance to confess you killed Sam Walters. Are you going to tell the truth, or do I like the fuse? I told you Drake killed Walters. All right, Pancho, like it. Idea we're going to blow ourselves till the kingdom comes. Come on, Cantwell. Ready to confess? I have nothing to confess. Cisco, Pancho ain't no coward because if Cisco blow up, Pancho blow up too. <laughs> what is? It's nice outside. Let's went. You too. Come on, Cantwell. What are you going to do about it? Cisco. Cisco, let's, let's win. Time's running out, Cantwell. Quick, Panto.
Wait, I, I confess, I killed Walters. Say it again. I did it, I did it, I killed him and, and blamed it on Drake. I heard that. You're under arrest. Hey, Cisco. Why don't the dynamites blow up? Because I fixed them so they wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it all the time. Oh, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. See you soon. <laughs> enjoyed this episode of Cisco and Poncho and I hope you'll come by and see us at Toy Gun Town and also I hope you'll spend some more time with us here on westernsontheweb.com. I'm Bob Terry. Have a great day and we hope to see you again on down the trail.